Well, hello everyone. I'm here today. Uh, this isn't a claim. This is actually my own private property. I have a little uh, holiday property with a little creek running through it. And I'm here today to talk to you about how to find gold on a creek. Now, I went back through all my YouTube videos to see what people seem to be looking for in my videos. And found that my most popular video is one I have on how to read a river, where to find gold in a river. And another very popular one is how to read a small creek, where to find gold in a small creek. And I realized that there's a lot of people go into YouTube to learn how to discover their own gold, how to locate their gold on their gold-bearing creeks. So I thought, huh, I might as well go with that theme and show you guys another creek. Now this here, the creek is cutting through bedrock. I love bedrock, that's where you find big gold, is on bedrock. And it's leaving all these little gravel bars sitting right on bedrock. I'm going to talk a little bit about sniping today, not necessarily your typical sniping, but looking in cracks, trying to find those cracks that might hold the gold. And especially on bedrock like this, you're not going to snipe a gravel bar. But on bedrock like this, there's all sorts of spots that you can start looking for gold. Now unfortunately, to find the gold on this stuff, you have to work at it. You can't just go take your shovel and skim the surface. You have to get down into those cracks to try to find it. Looking at this bedrock surface right now, there's probably half a dozen flakes staring back at me that I can't see, but they're there. And they're gonna be down, hidden down in these little cracks. So we're gonna go and play around with those a bit today and see if we can find some flakes of gold. I'll show you exactly what I'm looking for here. Beautiful little spot. This is my spot of tranquility. I come down here and sit and veg sometimes, just listening to the water, watching the babbling brook go by. Relax. Anyhow, uh, give me a moment to sort of orient orientate myself here, find a good spot, and I'll show you what I do and how I do it. So I've taken my sunglasses off because I want to be able to see what I'm doing a lot better here. Now, I chose this little area because I cleaned out that crack one year, up top there, and found a few real nice pickers in it. And this stuff here happened to be under a gravel bar at that time, which has since been washed away. Uh, the gravel came up to about there, I cleaned out the top. So this stuff here might have some great, great gold. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start prying off some of these little pieces of bedrock that I can see river gravels hidden in the cracks. Start with that, and then I'm going to clear this chunk of cobble here and see what's underneath it. So I can already see concreted gravels in that crack underneath. This is not going to be easy digging. You can't just take your shovel, scoop, and dump into your pan. No, you're going to have to get in there, pry those rocks apart, pull them off. I throw those rocks in my pan because there's stuff attached to them. And then, of course, I didn't bring any uh, sniping tools today, so my sniping tools are my hands. We're going to get in there, and we're going to pick out all of that gravel. If you're lucky, you might even see gold doing this, because there's such a small volume of material you're pulling out. In my backpack, I have little brushes for cleaning this stuff down. But you can also use some water to wash it down into the bottom and pick it out. But another trick, once you get all the gravel down at the bottom, if you can take a, the next piece of rock, pry it off, and you just lift those gravels that you push down at the bottom with it, and they're in their pan. You're not losing anything that way. This can be very relaxing. You can spend half an hour just cleaning the bedrock. Your volumes are tiny. You just throw it in your pan. And then after half an hour of filling your pan, you may only have a quarter pan. But you go pan it, you'll find you have great results. Sometimes I'll use little fragments of rocks to scrape those at the bottom of that crack out. I 
like this bedrock that's all jagged with points sticking up because it really catches the gold just like rifles in a sluice box. when sniping like this I will every once in a while take those rocks, wash them all off. Make sure all the sand's off them and get rid of them. Just keeps my pan from filling up with rocks. And then continue. for a while off video and once I get a nice good uh, half pan full or something I will uh, put the video back on and show you the rest. I've been digging and breaking rocks and uh, filling my pan for about half an hour now. Oh, no, 15 minutes now. I don't have much material in here yet, not even a quarter pan. But I've sort of cleared this area of all the loose rocks. I'm not breaking any new rocks, I'm just getting the loose rocks out. And I'm just going to wash my pan out for a second, then I'm going to use the water from my pan to wash things down. That's all I have. Not much in the pan yet. Now I'm going to take my pan full of water and very slowly, starting from the top, I guess, and really look in the cracks afterwards. This is where you might actually see gold. Gold stuck in cracks after it's been washed like this, especially in the sunshine, is really going to stand out. visible yet. But I do end up with quite a bit more material down the bottom deep spots after doing this.
wash it with clean water now so I can see down into it and see what I got. Material. Now I'm going to try to pan one handed here with the camera in the other hand. Let's switch hands. Oh, okay, that's better. You can see a lot of that just broken up bedrock, jagged stuff. I didn't get much material out of any of the cracks. They were all pretty tight. I kind of hope for more volume of the river run stuff coming out of those cracks. So I might have to go for some looser bedrock here for getting the good gold. Let's hope there's something. Not even much black sand. Okay, I'm not expecting much gold here then. Anything? Oh, there's one piece. Oh, two pieces. Oh yeah, there's a bit. There's a bit here. See it in the in the black sands? Nothing big though. I'll suck that up, and then I'm going to show you the next little spot I would try here. Okay, so that had a bit of gold stuck in those rock cracks there, but not very much. Where I would think I would find more is where these cobbles are sitting on what should be a very similar crack to that one but down here because the cobbles themselves will protect the material down in the crack from the rushing water that's coming by that little knob and it will work the heavies down into the bottom of the crack yet still keep them from flushing away so I'm going to remove those cobbles and then see if I can get down into the bottom of that crack and do very similar to what I did there but this has much, much more material that I'm going to be getting out. Let's see what I can do. Now a few things I see while I'm clearing the rocks here. I see this sheet of bedrock coming down at a serious angle and then continuing here at about the same angle, which probably means, now I'll clear it to find out, probably means that's a shear all the way down. Gold's not really going to settle on it, although I see a little bit of discrepancy here. We might have a bit of a crack down there that will definitely be looked at. Over here, I see kind of the opposite. I see chunk this coming down, but I see bedrock poking up in a few spots, creating real good low spots for the gravel to collect. See, the bedrock is there, bedrock is there, a little knob there, there's these low spots. The bottom of those cracks, if I can clear them out the same way, may have some good gold. I think my first job here though is just going to be shovel all this into a pan, do a real quick pan of the over stuff. I don't expect much so I'll just blast through it. As I expected. 
So I cleared off that underneath that little gravel bar. I probably could do that, but uh, I wasn't I wasn't excited with what I was finding. I wasn't finding a lot of uh, pockets that could hold gold. The rock wasn't really broken up, so I couldn't break. I couldn't pry little chunks out and get the gravel that's wedged in it. Just didn't seem quite right. I was panning it down slightly, just a little bit each time. Every time my pan got slightly full, I would pan it down so I could get more water in my pan for washing the rocks. But I didn't see much going through there. Let's see what's in the very bottom. Oh, one flake. Focus, of course. I try to refocus the camera a little bit on that one. Flake. Anything else in there? Yeah, one little flake. That's all we got. It was one little flake out of all that. So I'm going to go downstream here now. Let me ugh, grab my classifier. I will suck that up before I put new stuff in. Right here, big rock sitting on bedrock. Let's look behind it, see what, it, what the ground looks like. Jagged bedrock, right behind a great big rock, sitting on bedrock. And you look at this stuff. All sorts of gravels wedged down in there. This might be the hot spot for the day. I'm gonna try to break up all this stuff here and see if there's any uh, little flakes of gold hiding, just waiting for me to pick them up. pan from that spot. Just gonna pan it out and see. The stuff I was getting out looked really good. Let's see if it pays off the gold. Now again, this classifier is mostly both broken up bedrock, but this time we have a bit of river run cobble as well.
or five pieces, but they're small. Nothing big yet today. Four or five pieces, but they're small. Hmm, need to find the bigger gold. Lots of good looking spots in there. I just dug out there and found a few little specks, nothing great. I'm gonna try maybe on top where those cobbles are. I see bedrock above, bedrock below. Must be a little trough in there that could be catching something good. Look around here underneath that boulder there. Oh, that'd be awesome. Right on bedrock, big boulder. Old, old tree roots. Oh, that could be a good little spot. Again here, a little boulder wedged in amongst the bedrock. Looks nice. Well, we can go up there for now. So I should show you guys what I'm doing here. Uh, I cleared off all the sand that was on top, but now I'm down onto this bedrock trench down here, and I'm breaking up the loose pieces of bedrock. Again, put them all in my pan, brushing down the bedrock. It's a nice little trench behind this great big rock. I'm trying to stay in the shade right now because the sun is really bright. And we're seeing if there's any big pieces of gold hiding down here. I'm sure I'm going to find something on this one. This is just a beautiful little spot. Bedrock crack, broken up bedrock, lots of places for gold to fall in and hide. Let's see what we find. Focus the camera here. And there we are. One fairly nice piece. Couple of good flakes. Whole bunch of little stuff. Lots and lots and lots of little stuff. That's more like what we expect. Playing with bedrock. That's just over behind that big rock there. On that bedrock. That's the place to come back to for sure. Lots of nice looking spots right up underneath those two trees. Those two trees. Anyhow, I should probably get back to my family. They're probably wondering what happened to me. Beautiful spot. So, I'm closing here. Another spot that you can look for gold on a creek. 
it's safe in bedrock cracks. You have to work at it though. You have to get in there, break up the loose pieces of bedrock and get that gravel out of between them. If you just work on the surface, you're not going to get the gold that might be hiding on bedrock. that video helped you guys uh, with a bit more information on how to locate the gold when you're uh, searching a creek, find that good spot. I think I'll do a few more of these in specific areas to show you some more specifics there in the near future. But until then, I'm heading back to school in just a couple days, so I'll be a while before I get a chance to do more videos. Until then, bye. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click the subscribe button below. That little picture of me. And here's a couple more videos on the topic that you also might enjoy. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a great day. Bye.